Hi guys, welcome to my 20 week uh, pregnancy vlog. I am 20 weeks, five days today. Um, I'm feeling great, I've had an amazing week, jam packed. We um, had Thanksgiving and then we had um, our 20 week pregnancy scan. We also had um, a big week of travel and packing up the house and I packed for my long stint in Australia. So um, even though we go back for three and a half weeks to America, uh, when we get back to Australia in January, we're there the whole way through until after I've given birth. Um, so I decided to do a really big pack this past week and I packed for the four months and really packed everything you could possibly need so that the next time I come back to LA, early Jan, we're there for three and a half weeks. Um, all I have to think about is what kinds of things I need for our baby. And going through the boy's old newborn stuff and picking things that she's gonna wear and all, the, all that really exciting stuff. Um, so that's really cool, but a super busy week because we had a lot going on and we had people over for Thanksgiving and then we went over to Isaac's mum's house for Thanksgiving as well. So we hosted and then we were also hosted. Um, and so it was just a, a pretty full on week. Um, but my highlight of the week obviously was seeing her and um, she was so cute and seeing the way she moves and she likes to have her hands up by her face and her foot up by her face. And um, it was funny because we actually brought all the boys, including Mark's brother, who was in town. Um, so my uncle Guillermo was there and the three boys, Isaac got to see it too. And um, everyone was really interested to see her in 4D. And Mark already thinks he knows what she looks like from the 4D images, which I think is hilarious. Um, it's very funny. I was like, she kind of just looks like an alien at this point. You can't really see any defining features, but he's like, no, no, no. She's got your eyes. I can tell. Um, she looks just like Bodhi. That's what he thinks. Uh, so it was just exciting and always nerve wracking. We were waiting to go in and, you know, I had that moment, even though I'm feeling her so much, I just had that moment of oh, what if there's something wrong or what if she's she's not measuring right or they pick up on something abnormal I think that as a mother no matter how many babies you've had you have those moments of vulnerabilities where you're you just are hoping and wishing that everything's okay but there's this little niggling anxiety at the back of your mind that something could potentially be wrong and I know that happens to women every single day and I'm so uh, aware of that and I think yeah it's just a part of the process is having to navigate through any of those moments of feeling fearful surrounding is your baby healthy um, but we got through that I convinced Mark to come to the scan because you know I think I've mentioned before he hates scans uh, so he came and he was really happy to come and everything. She actually measured exactly on her due date. So they basically, for those who are behind me or haven't had their 20 week scan yet or are pregnant for the first time, they measure like from the elbow to the finger, from you know the thigh bone, the size of the feet, the size of the hands, count all the fingers, measure like from top of their head to the bottom and so each measurement that they get from each body part um, correlates to a certain week's gestation so they'll say oh her her um, femur is measuring at 20 weeks two days and her body length is measuring at 19 weeks four days and so then they average it out to tell you what they think um, the due date would be and my and she, she was measuring exactly on the due date which is funny it's never really happened to me before my babies usually measure a little bit ahead um, 
But yeah, so that was great. That was the beginning part of the week and then we had Thanksgiving and had heaps of people over and I was feeling great and eating everything that I could possibly eat. Uh, it was a big potluck and then we just got ready for Australia and now we're in Australia with our friends, the Diagons, and we're all staying in one house together. Mark and um, James Diagon has taken, they've taken the kids down to the beach so they're all playing on the beach and my friend Chrissy's taken her daughter out for a special surprise horse ride for her birthday and I have the house to myself and it's very quiet and um, I'm getting this done and just relaxing and I've just really kind of I think there's something for me probably because I am Australian but when I land in Australia I get this instant sense of just oh, relaxation um, everything just feels it's that home feeling it's that knowing feeling the familiarity um, and I just my whole body relaxes and I get really tired but just chill I feel really good and um, driving through just the hinterland here in Byron and um, looking at the homes and there's just this greenery everywhere you look and it's just really inspiring and beautiful and exactly the kind of experience I want to be having right now so it's been really nice um, the kids were not very jet-lagged we slept on the flight we oh I've got to tell you about this amazing pillow I can't remember the name of it I'm sorry but so when we fly ourselves we have a gazillion kids we fly economy we think it's a real waste of money to spend a bunch of money on all of us flying business so we could never justify spending that kind of money just for eight hours or 12 hours or 14 hours so we just like you know what let's just we're doing economy we're gonna figure it out if we don't sleep we'll sleep when we get there and that's okay so we bought these really cool pillows this time around because I knew I'd be more uncomfortable because I'm pregnant. Um, and they blow up, you just blow them up on the plane and they come in these really small packages like this big. You take it out and you blow them up and there's like two separate chambers and it sits by your feet. So it's a footrest. And for the kids, they can sleep on top of it so they can sleep the full length of the chair um and so we bought the boys one each and it was a game changer it really helped i felt like I, I had so much more space and i could sleep and i actually got six hours sleep on the plane and that really set us up for dealing with the jet lag um and uh you know i'm very uncomfortable sleeping right now and i'm getting that weird thing i had on the plane which kept me up a little bit um, where your body starts itching. Uh, I didn't get that with my first pregnancy. I think I got it with Forrest. But right as I'm trying to fall asleep, my body starts to itch. So that was happening. So I couldn't really get comfortable. And then eventually I um, started reading my book. And, and that was it. I passed out, slept for six hours. The kids slept. They watched a couple of shows. Although Forrest would watch five minutes of one show and then get bored and then want five minutes of a different show and then get bored. And then he's like, I want Peppa Pig. He's like, I want real sharks. So I had to like look through National Geographic to try and find, all right, can I find a shark channel? And then I finally found one after searching for one for 30 minutes. And then he was like, I want something else five minutes in, um, which is just classic because he's not yet two. So he's just... He doesn't have the attention span to just zone in on a show and, and be cool. And our rule is we basically, my, our kids don't watch TV uh, during the week. Um, and on special occasions, we'll take them to the movies or we'll have a movie night. But really, generally, the rule in our house is as little media as possible. And we just made that choice for us because... I feel like uh, for our kids, TV acts like sugar and it's not 
um, good for them and just seeing their reaction to watching shows, um, it, it just really spaces them out. So we try and limit it a very a significant amount, much more than most of our friends. And that's just purely from knowing our kids and what works for them. But what we do is we save it all up for travel. So it is a free for all. They can get on the plane. Bodhi can watch as many movies and shows as he likes. Um, and it's great because then it keeps TV and shows and, and movies a novelty for him. So he really enjoys the experience, which is really nice. And it's very helpful because we travel so much. Um, but yeah, no, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good. I'm having to hug the pillow at night time because my belly is massive. I'm going to show you. I know I say that every week, but it really is. Oh gosh, I can't really show you. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this Bella. She's a big girl. Um, <laughs> there we go. And that is a 20 week belly. I think it looks more like 30 weeks, but go figure. Um, third baby and a girl. So um, it's feeling slightly different. They confirmed my anterior placenta, which again is one of the reasons why I haven't been feeling such strong kicks. Uh, I feel her in there and I, at first my interpretation of it was, oh, she's just a bit daintier and she's smaller and she's not as active and maybe she's an introvert. <laughs> um, and then, of course, I found out I had the anterior placenta. So that is the reason why I'm having these muted kicks and they're not as big and violent as the boys were just because my placenta is in a completely different position and it's like kicking into a pillow. Um so yeah, that, that is it. I'm feeling great. I'm going to share a bunch of photos. Um, 20 weeks. I'll, I'll put a photo in there of our baby girl. Um, what a dream to see her. I think it was just, yeah, it was probably the highlight of the pregnancy so far. And I can't believe I'm halfway there. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're going to be having a baby girl soon. Crazy. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to go. Mark really wants me to head down to the beach. So I uh, love you. I'll leave you. And I hope you're all doing really well. All right. Bye.